Hello! In this Python tutorial, we're going to go over a few different ways that you can create summary statistics for your data sets. Summary or descriptive statistics, including the five number summary, can help you get familiar with your data and will give you information about the shape, center, and spread. Let's go ahead and jump right in and get started with our examples. The first thing we did is we imported NumPy as MP and Pandas as PD. The next thing we did is we've gone ahead and created our data set. We use numpy.random.seed to set a seed so that our data set does not change. Then we use numpy.random.normal to create a data set of 500 elements with a standard deviation of 1. And if you would like more information about the numpy.random.normal, we can go ahead and copy that. Let's add a cell. And put that in with a question mark and run it. And this will give you some general information, information about the parameters, and some examples. Okay? Let's go ahead and run this cell and take a look at our data set. And you can see here we have our data set. that was created using this code here. For our first example, we're going to create a five number summary using numpy percentile. We've gone ahead and created a function. It will take one argument, which will be your data set. We've used a print to just display a title. Then we use numpy.percentile, we put in the data, that will be the data that you pass into the function. Then for the second argument, you put the percentiles that you want to show. And we want to show the minimum and the maximum, and then the 25th, 50th, and 75th percentiles. For the interpolation, we're going to use linear. Then we used a series of prints with format and string interpolation. And for each of these curly bracket placeholders, we're going to put the different percentiles. So this would be index 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And here we have put those indexes. So once again, this will show the minimum, the 25th, 50th, 75th percentiles, and the maximum. Then here, we just call our function, and you put in your data set. We're going to use this data set here. Let's go ahead and run it. And you can see we have our title with the five number summary. Okay, for our next example, we're going to go over another way to create the five number summary. And you'll notice that this example is almost identical to this example. And the main difference is in this case, we're going to use quantile. Whereas here, we used percentile. So once again, we created our function. It will take one argument. That will be the data that you want to get the five number summary for. We've created our title. Then here, we use numpy.quantile. We pass in the data. That will be the data you pass into your function. And then here, in the square brackets, we put the percentiles that we want to see. However, notice here we use decimals, whereas here we use whole numbers. So for example, for the 25th percentile, we use 0.25. Then once again, we use our prints with the format, the string interpolation to display our minimum, 25th, 50th, 75th percentiles, and maximum. Then here we call our function, and we put in the data that we want to see the five number summary for. Let's go ahead and run it. And you can see we get our output here. And you'll notice that the outcome for the percentile function is identical to the outcome for our quantile function. And for our last example, I think we've probably saved the best for last. We're going to use pandas. So we've gone ahead and created our function. When you call the function, you can pass in the data that you need to pass in. We've gone ahead and created our title. And to get the summary statistics 
for your data set, all you have to do is use pandas. In this case, we use dot series, so we can convert that data set to a pandas series. You put in your data, dot describe. Then we call our function, and you pass in the data set that you want to see the summary statistics for. Let's go ahead and run it. And with the pandas describe, you get a few more summary elements, including the count, the mean, and the standard deviation. However, notice that the minimum and the maximum and the percentiles match our five number summary examples from before. That's all we have for this tutorial. Join us again next time.